Hey guys, Harry here, back with another Brit Lane vlog. Uh, same uh, clip again from uh, the last videos. We're on the third of five clips of me uh, squaring around this garage. Uh, just finishing off the uh, headers on the banding course on this uh, clip and then doing a course of brick over them. Uh, the angle isn't the best because I didn't really have anywhere to put the camera because it right next to main path where Oak Pant was going past. It was only a small job, so there weren't really limited areas to put the uh, put the phone. But yeah, so in this video, uh, it was main topic that which we sort of tend to have every every vlog. We have a topic, uh, and in this video, we're going to talk about adapting to the situation when you turn up on a new job or you turn up doing a different build, and uh, the day don't pan out as you plan. So we're going to talk about adapting to your uh, to the situation and basically. Um, how best to deal with things uh if you know a lot of guys especially if you're in a bigger gang there's a lot of things that can slow you down and uh and put a spanner in the works and this is a massive reason why i don't work in uh two and one gangs or three and ones or you know any gang size other than me and my dad or being a laborer uh because of that factor purely and when it comes to working on price which i've always done um you know, you want a consistent way to earn a good wage every day, no matter what sort of work you're doing. So, uh, when it comes to, you know, brick lay in general, there's a lot of things that will slow you down and a lot of things that will get in your way. And number one, one thing is the weather. So, the weather is sort of an uncontrollable factor. Um, it's one of the things that, you know, it's time of year dependent, this trade. It's not the most uh, consistent way to make a living year-round. But there is things you can mitigate when it comes to weather and when it comes to your approach to tasks, depending on how the weather is. And that is um, regarding snap breaks. So myself, uh, personally, I only have one snap a day. And the reason for this, it started out uh, about the time I started working on my own about three years ago. I'd, I started working for this subby with another bricklayer and he went off to get another job because he didn't like site work and uh, I'd worked in a couple of gangs before starting with this uh, with the firm I'm working for now and you know we had inconsistent inconsistent wages throughout the week we had the gang had been a bit bent and uh, and of a booking plots and there were just there were just a lot of bad things going on so I rid myself of that situation and then I started working on my own flat solo and uh and I did that for about six or seven months till my old man uh, retired from his IT job and then uh, came working with me three days a week. He started doing th four at first, then he went up to five, then he went back down to three. Uh, and uh, it just sort of works based on however long he feels. And uh, when I started working flat solo before that, I uh, started having one snap. And the biggest reason is is because obviously I did it for a lot at the time and it because it stopped me eating too much. If I have one snap time I can't start sit around eating. And a lot of the time is um which obviously I named the channel by is the after eight brick layer. I start getting to sight um later and later and later. The you know, the longer I work with my dad we start getting there later and later and later to the point where we're after eight o'clock a lot of the time, which it is now. And we were getting more and more work done every month, uh, you know, on, on average for a week. And we realised that, you know, we're, there was a lot of benefits to starting later, you know what I mean? We, we found ourselves not feeling as tired at the end of the day, we got more done, you know, we we sort of beat the site traffic where all the other gangs were rushing to get their, you know, their gear. And, you know, there's always them gangs who like to turn up at like seven o'clock in the morning and sit in the car for half an hour. You know, and we sort of started adapting to the, you know, situation on the most sites because especially on a lot of size, uh, sites these days in, you know, really built up areas, they don't let you start till about eight o'clock. So starting after eight was even more, you know, beneficial. You know, everyone got the tub around, you know, quarter past eight and then we'd roll up and uh, we'd get ours and we'd just, you know, we'd be last, last in the queue to get a tub, but that's when we used to start work. And... And the, the beauty of having one snap is that if something slows you down throughout the day, like if you don't get, if you like a lot of the time, if there's a crane in your way or there's a bit of plant in your way and you can't get your bricks, uh, you know, where you want them or your mortar till like nine o'clock, having one snap allows you to 
sort of just get a good few hours working in between having a break and eating some food and you know you can you can you can shift them times left and right you know some days you'll be hungry and you want to have a snap at 10 o'clock and some days you'll not be very hungry if you had a big breakfast and you might not have a snap till 12 o'clock i've done it myself uh some days when i'm working on my own especially fridays i don't have a snap till one because when i start off in the morning i normally go to the garage to fill the car up and then i get a lack of and i sort sandwich that's an only hot section at uh, this garage where i near live and uh you know, you, you've got to vary. This is one of the main things that I like about working on my own <laughs> or a one-on-one -on -one, uh, is that you, you don't set yourself limits when it comes to sort of your working hours, you know, the time you're actually on the travel. You can organise, you know, organise your gear around how the site seems to be running on that day. You know, if you've got wet bricks, joint, you know, go lay a load, keep laying a load and then have an hour snap, let them all dry out and... There's just a lot of different, you know, strategies you can take and you're not limited by the other person you're working with sort of saying, oh, let's go for a snap now, oh, I'm, I'm hungry, this, this and that. You can you can just play it by ear and you can really, you can, little things like that can really lead to getting more done throughout a week and earning better wages on average, you know what I mean? Because it is a bit of a mind fuck with bricklaying. There's going to be some weeks you'll earn 400 quid more than others. Do you know what I mean? It's just the way it rolls depending on what type of work you're on. Uh, you know, how many hours of work you did, uh, whether the mortar was there, the materials were there, the scaffold was up, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things that can slow you down, but you can mitigate a lot of them things uh, by just adapting your work hours and adapting the times you go for breaks and the times you, you start and the times you finish and all these little things can add. And because we are self-employed, obviously, a lot of, some people are on the books on price, but a lot of guys are self-employed. We have that freedom and I, I, and it always baffles me to this day that people still work set hours even though they're self-employed. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, you know, people get stuck in the ways like, you know, like to leave at three o'clock every day and get there at seven every day and no matter wind, rain or shine, you know, it's, uh, it, you know, it is baffling but it's, uh, you know, it's each to their own. Like in winter, especially when the weather's a lot colder and we can't start laying until 10 o'clock all the time. Me and the old man, you know what I mean? We get it, we get there at 10 o'clock, dead on. When everyone's just starting to get a tub out, we roll up, go and, uh, you know, go and get our tub after they've got theirs and start laying. And we'll lay all the way through till like probably four o'clock. It'll start getting dark around four. And then, you know, it'll be a shorter day than in summer, but we'll, we'll feel, we won't feel as knackered. You know what I mean? We haven't been there three or four hours like the other gangs you know, stressing out that we can't start or what what not. And uh, you end up getting, you know, somewhat close to like what you get done in summer. But, you know, you're not you're not getting as knackered. And especially with a lot of downtime you get, obviously rain and stuff like that, especially if we look at the forecast and it's give rain till 10 on the morning, we'll probably get there for maybe half nine and the rain has normally passed. Instead of getting there for, you know, eight o'clock and sitting in the car for an hour and a half, you know what I mean? Just just taking little steps to better working practices is, is just something that'll make your your work more pleasurable throughout the year and and then this is one thing that I've found's been the best the best for me, you know, obviously working one on one. Um obviously with my dad it's a big reason, you know, is, is my dad, his family, you know, we're on the same wavelength. And that's important when you're working with someone, you know what I mean? You 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 ain't got have, you ain't got to have the same work speed or the same, you know, you know the same way of working but you've got to be on the same wavelength which is you know really important uh, this is why i find a lot of the time as well when you're working two and one or three and one is that it's just a lot less efficient you know there's someone always going a bit slower than someone else uh, a lot of the time you the labor isn't fast enough to keep up with three brick layers or two brick layers even especially if there's two brick layers laying a decent pace that's you know that's a lot of bricks if you lay 500 bricks a day you know, as a pretty nippy bricklayer, and you've got a labourer uh, supplying two bricklayers laying 500 bricks a day, that's two packs of bricks they've got to lay a day, and at least another two packs of, uh, uh, at least another two packs they've got to load out in front for the next day, and supply all the gobbo, and then you're going to be doing your own jointing anyway, because there's not a lot of times a labourer will be able to join up after you, so instantly there, whereas in a one-on-one, -on -one, you're never stopping laying bricks. You know what I mean? You, you might stop now and again to get a bit of mortar, 
you know, like I do voluntary because, you know, I'm just like that. Uh, to save my dad's hip. But my dad's jointing all day. He's getting bricks all day. I, I have to literally spend five minutes loading my first stack of bricks up where I'm going to start. And then my dad's there plunking bricks as I'm laying them. He's just basically a lot of the time putting a clamp of bricks down. I'm using it. And then I get to one end of the line, you know, rack back, check the profile, do whatnot, do a couple of course, joint up. And by the time I've done that, he's basically loaded out for me. And then he'll start loading out in front on one day, then he'll be hands on the next. And it's just a lot more efficient use of your time when you're working in a smaller gang. And, you know, you'll get people, you know, get guys who are a bit sour faced and stuff like that. Go, oh, you, you work on your own because you're greedy or, or you want up money to yourself and... At the end of the day, um, what I always say when when people say that is say there's nothing, there's no one forcing you to work in a gang. There's no one forcing you to not work on your own. But the one thing you do have, what you do have when you have when you work on your own, you have all the responsibility on yourself. And this is one thing that I, I obviously uh, take responsibility for. I, you know, all the work I do, you know, I've got to take responsibility for that. If I get something wrong, it's on me. If, you know, if I build something wrong to the drawing or I get a wall plate out wrong, it's on me. I ain't got anyone else to blame other than myself. So that's the risk, you know, people you have to take working on your own, you know what I mean? But, and there, there's, another, there's other aspects as well, like organisation. A lot of guys, you know, they rely on the main, one of the, like, the main ganger or the main bricklayer to organise everything for them, whereas, like, myself... I organise everything, you know what I mean? I get, I get, I order the bricks where I want them. I get the gobber where I want it. I tell my dad where to put the bricks, how, how, I want, how I want the bricks, you know what I mean? Everything's on yourself. So it's just one of the, one of the, you know, you could see it as a downside, but I like, I see it as an upside of working on your own. Um, you have complete control, which is, you know, not, not something that everyone wants. It takes a bit more thinking about, but you, 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 it leads to more consistent weekly wages, and you, you never seem to have a bad week when you're on your own because you can always pull it out of the bag in one day. You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I will uh, hope you enjoy the video. We're almost getting towards 500 subscribers. I'm absolutely over the moon. Our lass is sick of hearing me telling, telling her how many views I'm getting on these videos. So uh, thanks so much for your support. I'm trying to keep it 100%, uh, you know, honest, legit, you know. Um, it's... You know, it's just the way I am. You know what I mean? It's the way I am in real life. It's not an act or anything for YouTube. But I try not to, you know, sort of Hollywood eyes any of it. It's all fucking just real raw footage as I am on the job uh, day to day. Uh, I'm not always going to get nice jobs like this. There's going to be, you'll see videos of me doing shitter jobs. Uh, but I'm going to try and get, you know, a variety of content out for everyone. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to enjoy this beer. And uh, I'm going to get go get play on PlayStation again for a couple hours before I'm going to go to bed. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.